Hey guys, I'm here with uh, Tina and we're gonna explain why uh, worker proposals are not the best idea and how to have the best blockchain. So this is a follow-up video to um, the um, new system proposed for Steam blockchain. Uh, block trades proposed we, we move towards uh, a worker proposal system like Bitcher has. And I think my best argument, which I didn't mention in the last video, is that instead of modeling ourselves towards blockchains which are not as successful and are stagnating, like, like Bitchers, it hasn't moved up too much in the recent, recent time frame. We should look at uh, the, what's working and blockchains like Ripple. I mean, people are salty and mad or, or dislike the fact that Ned has like 20% hold of all the tokens. Look at Ripple, they hold like 70% of all the tokens. People are making a fuss over Ned having unnecessary control for no reason, I think. We definitely need somebody making quick decisions. We need somebody to make sure we have a competitive advantage in a fast moving blockchain world. Look at Ripple, it is number two for God's sake. And they hold like 70% or, or, or an enormous amount of, of control in the entire Ripple ecosystem. And it works perfectly. Sure, there has been some unnecessary spending. But look how far we got with, with, um, with Steam. Sure, we don't have a mobile app yet. It's, it's one argument Blockchain's made. But look at Bitchers, they don't have a mobile app for years and they had Roker proposals trying to get that stuff done for such a long time now. There's no need to take a step backwards and take power away from Ned because we are afraid of what he's gonna do. I'm pretty sure he did a good job so far. Look at all the apps, all the adoption of the Steam blockchain. All the people using Steam are because of the really well-functioning APIs, which is an expense paid by Steemit. The reason so many people are developing on Steam is because Ned makes sure it was easy to develop on Steam. They focus on the, on the blockchain part and not on the user interface part. Sure, the user interface isn't the best, but that's not what's going to drive adoption. Developers making more apps is, is, is what drives adoption. Just look at what Steam Monster is doing. I think Steam has a very effective blockchain and we need to keep tailoring it that way so we have more apps because good apps will bring users. Steam and Steam.com has only a, a use for a certain number of users. To get more users, we need more apps tailoring to other people. In summary, just focus on what's working and no need to, to make FUD and drama over small things. I think we gotta look at the big picture here. See you guys later.